Hello, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. It's really, really cold out here right now. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk briefly about trauma. Um, I was reading the Disability uh, Blue Book, Symptomology Blue Book, or whatever, and you know, as far as anxiety disorder, I have this. I didn't get to the PTSD part, but I, f I feel all of these requirements. And, you know, I never used to have this. <clears throat> I didn't start getting real anxiety. I mean, I had it as a child, but, you know, little, totally dealable, you know? I didn't need medication. I didn't, wasn't agoraphobic, you know? So, let's look at this now. Person undergoes extremely traumatic circumstance, situation, long-term, hardcore, intense, emotional response, repeated trauma after trauma after trauma, repeated. So, person understands that they have trauma, they have post-traumatic stress, they have anxiety disorder, they have resultant problems from the trauma. So what do you do? Well, if you look in the classical literature, uh, treatment literature, what do they recommend? Well, treatment with medication if the symptoms are too severe to function, uh, to get the client back functioning somewhat again, and talk therapy. Talk therapy where you admit to yourself and to another person that you underwent this trauma, what it was, the nature of it, how it made you feel, your experience, what changed about you, uh, and if you can get it any, what subliminal changes. So you talk about it, you share it with others, you find sympathy from others, you uh, accept what has happened to you, as difficult as it is. Just like a death, you go through the stages of anger and bargaining and grief and whatever they are. You do it with trauma too. So, you're sh you, know, you find other people who have had similar situations and you have a fellowship. You know, so you're sharing, you're uh, reliving, you're accepting, you're forgiving yourself, or attempting to, that's what one of the acceptance is. And, excuse me, you're uh, getting fellowship, you're getting, uh, you know, you're admitting to yourself. You're looking down in your soul and you're, you're saying, it's okay, I forgive myself for whatever this was that traumatized me, even though it wasn't my fault. You accept these things. So we go through this list. What am I not doing? Uh, cognitive uh, behavioral therapy? Um, Neuro-linguistic programming, you know? Well, we're getting that stuff 24-7 from the media that we watch. And it is to induce fear of death and trauma and violence and stuff. But that's a separate story. I don't watch a little lot of media anymore. So, what am I not doing? I'm doing everything I can think of to, to deal with this. Now, so, you know, all right, panic attacks, you have them. The, deal with them with the medication and you know possibly my medication levels aren't high enough because I'm very concerned about taking too much and falling asleep and you know I, I want to continue my life I want to live uh, sometimes sleep is a good escape and I have insomnia these people rewired my biology and have given me permanent insomnia uh, so you know, maybe that's why I have the panic attacks. And they seem to grow worse and worse as though they're being trained in as a subliminal or conscious or subconscious response, an autonomic response, you know. So who knows what, uh, what's actually going on in the nocturnal uh, programming, you know, while we're asleep. Uh, who knows what this data is. But, you know, I wake up every morning Terrified. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to face anybody. I don't want to do anything. It is almost fully incapacitating. And I have to like... 
but if you'll pardon my French, you know, grab my huevos and uh, go out and do what I got to do. Thanks for watching. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. God bless you.